Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create some essential content for your website easily and quickly using a service called Render Forest. In this video, I'll show you how to create five different types of content using uh, this website. So we'll be creating a mock-up, we'll be creating a one-page website, an explainer video, a logo, and also an intro video. So let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is go to the official website of Render Forest. So just Google for Render Forest and you'll get this website renderforest.com. So I'll just uh, click on that. Now you can create a free account in uh, Render Forest. So just go ahead and sign up using your email ID. So I have already signed up and I logged into my account. Now here we can see on the home page there are some features being listed over here and uh, we have a lot of information about this uh, product over here now let's take a look at the pricing of uh, this uh, service so if you go to pricing we can see there are several plans over here the first one is free but we have a lot of limitations in that but it can be really useful for testing out this service and uh, checking out whether you like it or not and if you like it then you can go ahead and uh, go for the other plans over here so here we can see for the free plan we have unlimited 360p exports so this is a really low quality video export so if you just want to test it out you can use this and here are some other features that are there in all these different versions now in free version everything you download will have a watermark of render forest so the free version is just for uh, testing out this service in this video i'll just use the free version and i'll show you how to create these different content and then you can go ahead and subscribe to the plans that you like and then we have one more option over here called pay per product so if you're not going to use uh, this uh, tool a lot and if you want to just create a single product then you can use this option called pay per product so here we can see we have different price for different products we have a 360p quality without watermark and we have this 720 and 1080 and then we have the pricing for the logo and mock-up and uh, all these things over here you can go ahead and check them out all right so now let's go ahead and start creating the content so first of all you have to log in so i have already logged in now first of all i'll show you how to create a mock-up so just click on edit mock-up and then you can go ahead and choose from different mock-ups over here so a mock-up is basically something that is displayed on the screen of a smartphone or on a clothing or anything like that so here we have different templates so this is for the iPhone 11 Pro and you can add any image that you want over here on the screen of the iPhone. Then we have this online clothing brand mockups. So you can add your designs over here on this clothing. So you can go ahead and scroll through these and find the ones that you like. For this video, I'm going to use this one right here called no gravity mockup pack. So let's click on that. And here we have 10 scenes. So you can choose any of these and add your image on that. So let's see which one will be the best for us so you can choose any of these I'll just choose this one right here and I'll click on edit mockup now let's download an image for this so here I'm in this website called pixabay.com it's a service that provides free images for your websites so let's search for something over here I'll just type technology now let's download an image from here so I'll just select this image right here and I just click on free download and I'll just download this version right here All right the image has been downloaded now let's go ahead and upload the image over here so I'll just click on this image and uh, here I will click on upload file so this is the image that I just downloaded so I'll just click on that and click on open and uh, we can adjust the cropping over here you can adjust the size over here as well or you can use uh, these two options over here so I'll just select fill and uh, click on apply and we can see that the image has been applied to this mockup. So in this way, you can go ahead and add any image that you want to any of these mockups inside Render Forest. Now let's go ahead and click on download. And you can go ahead and subscribe to download this without any watermark. Or you can just get this one for this price over here. But I'll just click on get free version with watermarks. And let's open this. And this is how our image looks. So that is how you create a mockup using render forest now the next thing i will show you is how to create 
a one page website so for that you have to go over here to build website and then click on start creating and then you have two different options create from scratch so here you have to go ahead and drag and drop different things over here and then adjust them but I'll just click on this option called start with template so you can use all the templates that you already have here in render forest and you can create the website accordingly so I'll just go ahead and uh, select a category from here I'll just click on CV and uh, I'll just choose this one right here web developer CV so you can click on preview to see how it looks so this is how the website looks we have this hero image over here and uh, we have some sections over here and uh, it looks pretty good let's see how it looks on an iPad so this is how it looks on an iPad let's see how it looks on a smartphone so this is how it looks on a smartphone we also have this uh, menu icon over here let's click on that and we have these uh, menus over here so this website is purely responsive so let's go ahead and click on apply and uh, here we have our website if you have any logo you can go ahead and add that over here and you can change a lot of things over here so let's change this to something different so I'll just type John Doe and uh, you can change all these things over here you can also change the links so this is a text and uh, you can add external links over here or uh, you can add links to the section so if you select to section then when you click on this menu it will scroll down to that section it's pretty simple you can go ahead and add a lot of things over here and you can edit all of these and uh, let's click on preview and here we can see our preview is being displayed over here now I'm not going to edit everything over here because uh, it is pretty simple you can go ahead and do that yourself alright so now let's go to settings and uh, here we have some options like you can create a cookie consent bar so if you turn this on you can go ahead and add the cookie text over here and the cookie button text and you can add the favicon which is uh, this icon right here and you can also add the social image which will be displayed when uh, someone shares your web page and you can also add an email ID for your website and you can connect Google Analytics now for these you have to subscribe to a paid plan and then we have the option of adding pages and even for the pages you have to subscribe to a paid plan and then you have domain so you can add your custom domain over here for that also you have to subscribe to a plan but you can use a free subdomain to test your website out so I'll just type live blogger over here and it will be liveblogger.renderforestsites.com so let's click on save or right, the URL is saved now let's click on publish and we have this pop-up over here so you can select premium website if you want to have custom domain but for now I'll just click on publish for the free plan all right now under my projects we can see our website is being displayed it is still loading the site data and we can see that the site has been published let's click on this URL and our site is being displayed over here so our changes are being applied and everything works all right so this is basically how you can create a quick one page website using uh, render forest you don't have the full customization of the design but you can create pretty awesome websites using uh, this tool all right so now let's go ahead and see how to create an explainer video for your website so for that you have to click on create video and then under animated videos you can click on this option called explainer animations so this is one of the cool features of this tool so let's go ahead and select one of these from here I'll just select this one right here called explainer world toolkit and you can go ahead and uh, click on play to see a demo of how it looks motion graphics and animation or tasks just for the specialists but that's only in the past Alright, so let's click on create now now you have three options over here one is add scene so you can add different scenes and add uh, the text and all of those things then you have another option over here called load a preset so there are a lot of presets over here and you can go ahead and choose one that you like and uh, customize the content but one of the coolest things that I find in this tool is called type your script so you can just type the script of your content and it will generate the explainer video for you then you can go ahead and make some modifications so let's go ahead and click on this option and let's click on create 
Now this is where you can create the script of your video. Now whenever you add a period, then it will be considered as one scene and the next sentence will be considered as the second scene. So let's type some things over here. I'll just fast forward this. Right, so I have added this uh, video script. Now let's go ahead and click on generate project. And here we can see how the scenes are being added. We have one scene for this and then we have one more scene for the second sentence. Then we have one more scene over here and uh, in total we have five scenes. So let's click on generate project. And our project has been created. So if I hover over this, we can see this is how the animation looks. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one and uh, this is the last one. Now you can see a snapshot of how it will look. So let's click on snapshot over here. And this is basically how it will look with the text and the image. So I think it looks fine. Now you can go ahead and set the text position and uh, you can go ahead and choose a different scene if you want. So all the matching scenes of this will be displayed over here. So you can choose one of these scenes from here if you want. Or you can go ahead and completely change the scene. So if I click over here and click on replace, you'll get a list of all the scenes with all the categories over here. You can go ahead and uh, select any of these and go ahead and choose one of these scenes from here and it will be added. I'll just close this and uh, let's go ahead and go to the next option which is called style. Now here you can choose the style. So we have flat version noise version and gradient version. I'll just select flat and then we have the option of changing the transition. So this is how the transition looks as of now. This is another one and then we have no transition. I'll just select the first one over here which is random transition. So it will select any of these transitions from here and it will add that. And then we have the option of changing the font. All right now let's go to color. And uh, here you have a lot of different options of choosing the colors. You can select a color preset from here or you can even add custom colors to different elements over here. I'll just leave everything as it is. It looks all right. So let's go over here to music. Now here you can add voiceovers if you want. If you click on this and you can add voiceovers to your content. I'll just add a background music. So you can select from any of these categories over here. I'll just preview some of these uh, music. I think this sounds fine so let's click on add to project. Now the music has been added to the project. Right, so now let's go ahead and click on preview. Now here you can preview in low quality and uh, check how the content looks. And if you like it you can go ahead and purchase this in uh, 1080 or 720. So let me click on free preview and our video is ready. So let's go ahead and click on play. So this is how it looks and it looks great. So let's click on download and just check this out as well. Right, so it also looks all right. Right now let's go ahead and create a logo. So let's click on make logo. And uh, here we can see it says let our AI based logo maker create a logo for you. So we will enter the brand name. I'll just type live blogger and click on get my logo. And we have to add some information over here. So I'll just type some things over here in the description. So here we can see an example. 
so I'll just type something like I want a logo for my educational YouTube channel right so now let's go ahead and click on next and here are some styles that it has suggested for us let's click on one of these I'll just select this one right here and then click on next so this is how our logo will look with this design you can go ahead and select any of these designs I'll just select this one right here and uh, let's click on edit and download so here we have the option of uh, making changes to this you can go ahead and uh, change the size of this or uh, you can go ahead and uh, change the font over here or change the letter spacing you can change the color and the icon and all of those things now I'll just keep all of these as it is and click on download and again you have these options over here I'll just click on free download and then click on download over here and the logo has been downloaded so let's open this and this is how it looks now let me show you how to create a YouTube intro video so for that we'll click on create video and uh, we'll go over here to intros and logos and I'll click on YouTube intros and you have these uh, templates to choose from I'll just choose uh, one from here There are a lot of awesome templates over here. I think this looks fine. So I'll just select this one right here and uh, preview this. Right, so let's click on create now and you have to add your logo over here so I'll just click on this and click on upload and uh, this is our logo so let's open this and you can go ahead and adjust the sizing and then I'll just click on done and uh, here you can add your text so here I'll just type design websites All right so let's click on save and close and here we can see a snapshot of how it will look now let's go to style and you can go ahead and change the fonts I'll just stick to the default one and I'll just click on preview and then I'll just click on free preview so our intro has been created let's go ahead and uh, play this so it looks awesome and I'll just download this and uh, let's open this So it looks awesome. So that's basically it for this video. So Render Forest is a great tool to create awesome content for your website quickly and easily. So you don't need to have a lot of knowledge in graphic designing to create this content. You can go ahead and use these uh, templates over here and you can create all of this content over here and then just go ahead and download that in uh, whatever version you want. So that's it for this video. I hope that you found this useful. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.